and we are back welcome to good energy guys where we talk tennis and we are back at the rossay classic birmingham that's right wta 250 event and we have magda lynette versus diana yastrimka yastrimka came out guns blazing with just dropping pressure pressure shots all over the court and we all know Diana Yastrzemka is very strong she's got a very powerful forehand when she gets in position she can make some very powerful backhands as well early on too much for Magda Lynette to deal with uh, she just being hit completely off the court it was for love at one point in the first set with Yastrzemka breaking Lynette twice uh, however Lynette would finally hold serve making it 4-1 she broke Yastrzemska to make it 4-2 she held to 4-3 Yastrzemska took it 4-5 uh, Lynette would hold again 5-4 and now Diana is serving for the set we'll see if she can serve this thing out but you can see some adjustments made by Lynette so uh, the rallies are going a little bit longer but Yastrzemka does not want any rallies. Uh, her powerful forehand, if she is just being, you know, just sent these lovely shots from Lynette where she can just time them and hit her off the court, then it's going to be a short day. Lynette has to get Yastrzemka moving horizontally side to side so that forehand can be a little shaky and hit long. You know, opponents know Yastrzemka's game plan. Get her moving so she can hit running forehands. And then, you know, she'll, the, the mistakes will rack up. If she's moving, hitting her forehand, the mistakes are going to rack up, as well as pressure on her return serve. She'll start to double fall, and then you'll have an extended game. So Lynette's going to have to make some adjustments. It looks like she's doing that so far. Uh, nonetheless, Marie Sacri is through. Uh, she is through at the Berlin Open WTA 500 level event. We have the heavy hitters playing today in Berlin. Anja Bohr is up next. This is Good Energy, guys. Stay tuned for live coverage. We.